Travelers, ready to explore San Diego like a local? In this four-day adventure, we'll visit famous landmarks like the historic USS Midway Museum, the iconic Balboa Park, and the stunning La Jolla Cove. Plus, we'll get to uncover hidden gems like the secret swings in La Jolla, the enchanting Sunny Jim Sea Cave, and the breathtaking Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. Stick around until the end for insider tips that'll make your trip unforgettable. If you're into exploring amazing places, don't forget to subscribe for more travel guides. Let's get started! Best Time to Visit San Diego San Diego's year-round sunshine makes it an ideal destination, but the best time to visit is during the spring, March to May, or fall, September to November. These seasons offer warm weather, fewer crowds, and better hotel rates. Summer is bustling with festivals and events, but be prepared for higher prices. Winter is mild and perfect for whale watching, though the occasional rain may visit. Where to stay in San Diego Choosing where to stay can shape your entire San Diego experience. The Gas Lamp Quarter is ideal for nightlife lovers, filled with trendy bars and restaurants. Families might prefer Mission Bay, close to the beach and sea world, while La Jolla offers luxury with stunning ocean views. Budget-friendly hostels and charming B&Bs range from $70 to $150 per night, while higher-end options like La Jolla can reach up to $300 USD or more. How to get around San Diego Navigating San Diego is a breeze. For ultimate flexibility, renting a car is recommended, especially if you plan on exploring further. If you prefer public transportation, the San Diego Metropolitan Transit System MTS, has trolleys and buses that cover major attractions. An all-day pass costs around 6 USD. Ride-sharing apps are also popular for quick trips. Cycling enthusiasts will enjoy the city's bike-friendly areas, particularly along the beaches. City Airport Tips Flying in to San Diego International Airport, SAN, you're only a short drive from downtown. To save time, pre-book a shuttle or rental car. The airport offers convenient baggage drop-off stations if you have extra time before exploring. Day 1. Iconic Landmarks of San Diego Breakfast at Richard Walker's Pancake House Kickstart your San Diego adventure with a delicious breakfast at Richard Walker's Pancake House in the heart of downtown. Famous for their oven-baked apple pancake, this spot is a must-visit for breakfast lovers. Choose from a variety of freshly made options like their fluffy buttermilk pancakes topped with real maple syrup and fresh berries, or their savory egg scrambles. A hearty breakfast will cost you around 15 to 20 USD, setting you up perfectly for a day of exploring. Morning, USS Midway Museum Dive into history at the USS Midway Museum, one of the top attractions in San Diego. Located along the beautiful Embarcadero, this aircraft carrier turned museum offers an immersive experience of life at sea. For 30 USD, you can explore the hangar deck, sit in fighter jet cockpits, and hear stories from veterans who served aboard the ship. The flight deck offers breathtaking views of the city and the San Diego Bay, making it perfect for memorable photos. Interactive exhibits and flight simulators add an extra element of excitement, making this a family-friendly stop. Insider Tip Take the free guided tours where former sailors share fascinating stories and provide behind-the-scenes insights. Seaport Village just a short walk from the USS Midway is Seaport Village, a lively waterfront destination perfect for strolling, shopping, and enjoying the ocean breeze. Explore the quirky shops, catch live music, or relax by the bay with a cup of coffee. The historic carousel dating back to 1895 is a fun ride for both kids and adults. Take in the stunning views of the San Diego skyline and San Diego Bay as you walk along the boardwalk, creating the perfect backdrop for photos. Lunch at the Fish Market for lunch, head to the fish market on the waterfront, a premier spot for fresh seafood with gorgeous views of the bay. Try their famous fish tacos, clam chowder served in a sourdough bread bowl, or the daily catch grilled to perfection. Lunch here will run you about 20 to 30 USD, and you'll enjoy your meal with unbeatable views of the harbor, often with sea lions in sight. Insider Tip if you're a fan of oysters, be sure to try their raw bar, which features a fantastic selection of fresh oysters. Afternoon, Maritime Museum of San Diego. 
Continue your adventure at the Maritime Museum of San Diego, a fascinating attraction featuring historic ships including the Star of India, a Victorian-era sailing ship. Admission is 20 USD and you'll get to explore a variety of vessels from submarines to a working replica of a Spanish galleon. This museum offers a unique glimpse into maritime history perfect for all ages. Waterfront Park your next stop is Waterfront Park, a beautiful urban space with interactive water fountains, playgrounds, and wide open lawns ideal for a midday break. Relax on the grass or cool off in the fountains if the weather is warm. It's a great spot to unwind and enjoy the sunny San Diego weather before continuing your exploration. Insider tip. Bring a towel and a change of clothes if you want to splash in the fountains. Adults can have just as much fun as kids. Late afternoon, Old Town San Diego State Historic Park. Head to Old Town San Diego, a vibrant neighborhood considered the birthplace of California. This state historic park is full of museums, adobe structures, and shops selling authentic Mexican crafts. Wander through the streets, learn about the early days of San Diego, and enjoy a lively atmosphere complete with live mariachi music. Insider Tip Check out the Whaley House Museum, said to be one of the most haunted spots in the U.S. Tours are available if you're feeling brave. Evening Sunset at Cabrillo National Monument End your day with a stunning sunset at Cabrillo National Monument. For 20 USD per vehicle, you can take in panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean, Point Loma, and the San Diego skyline. Visit the old Point Loma Lighthouse and walk along the tide pools where marine life thrive in the rocky shore. It's the perfect place to relax and reflect on your day in San Diego. Insider Tip The golden hour lighting is incredible for photos, so make sure to capture the moment. Dinner at Island Prime For dinner, head to Island Prime on Harbor Island. This upscale restaurant offers breathtaking views of the city skyline and a menu featuring top quality seafood and steaks. Try the lobster bisque, grilled ribeye, or the chef's seafood platter. A meal here will cost about 40 to 60 USD, but the incredible food and views will make it well worth the splurge. Day 2 History and Culture Breakfast at Cafe 21 Gaslamp Kick off your cultural exploration of San Diego with breakfast at Cafe 21 in the lively guest lamp quarter. This farm-to-table restaurant is known for its creative and fresh breakfast options like short rib benedict or churro pancakes. Pair your meal with one of their fresh, famous pressed juices for around 15 to 25 USD. Insider tip. Try their signature mimosa flight, featuring unique flavors for a refreshing start to your day. Morning, Balboa Park. Head to Balboa Park, a cultural wonderland and one of San Diego's most iconic destinations. Explore the beautifully landscaped gardens, historic architecture, and world-class museums. Start with the San Diego Museum of Art, where admission is 20 USD, and wander through galleries showcasing works from European and Asian masters. Next, visit the lush Alcazar Garden for a serene break. Insider Tip Pick a Balboa Park Explorer Pass for discounted access to multiple museums. San Diego Natural History Museum Just a short walk away is the San Diego Natural History Museum. For 19 USD, discover interactive exhibits on the region's unique ecology and ancient fossils. Don't miss the giant screen films and the state-of-the-art theater. Insider Tip Head to the top floor for breathtaking views of Balboa Park and the surrounding area. Lunch at the Prado at Balboa Park Enjoy lunch at the Prado, a charming restaurant located in the heart of Balboa Park. Try their award-winning fish tacos or the delicious Kobe beef sliders. Lunch will cost around 20 to 35 USD and the atmosphere is unbeatable, surrounded by Spanish colonial architecture and lush gardens. Insider Tip Request an outdoor table on the terrace for a truly picturesque dining experience. Afternoon, Old Globe Theater and Spanish Village Art Center. After lunch, take a stroll to the Old Globe Theater, inspired by Shakespeare's original Globe Theater. Even if you don't catch a performance, the architecture and surrounding gardens are worth a visit. From there, head to the Spanish Village Art Center, a collection of vibrant studios where local artists showcase their work. Insider tip, watch artisans at work and maybe pick up a unique piece of art as a souvenir. Museum of Man and California Tower Make your way to the Museum of Man, an anthropology museum that explores human history and culture. Admission is 16 USD and includes access to the California Tower, where a climb rewards you with spectacular 360-degree views of San Diego. Insider Tip The climb is steep but well worth it for the view, so wear comfortable shoes. 
Late afternoon, Little Italy. Wrap up your afternoon with a visit to Little Italy, one of San Diego's most vibrant neighborhoods. Wander through boutique shops, sample a scoop of gelato, or visit the Little Italy Mercado Farmer's Market if it's a Saturday. This area is full of history and delicious smells from Italian eateries lining the streets. Insider tip! Stop by Piazza della Famiglia for a lively atmosphere and live music on most evenings. Evening, dinner at Barbusa. For dinner, indulge in authentic Sicilian cuisine at Barbusa in Little Italy. Try their handmade pasta or wood-fired pizza paired with a glass of wine. A meal here will cost about 30 to 40 USD. Insider tip. Their house-made cannoli is the perfect dessert to end your cultural day in San Diego. Day 3. Hidden gems and local spots. Breakfast at the Mission in Mission Beach. Start your third day with a local favorite, the Mission in Mission Beach, known for its Latin-inspired breakfast dishes. Indulge in their famous chilaquiles or soy chorizo breakfast burrito for 12 to 18 USD. The laid-back beachside vibe will get you in the perfect mood for a day of exploring San Diego's hidden gems. Insider tip. Grab a seat on their patio to enjoy the ocean breeze and keep an eye out for surfers riding the waves. Morning, La Jolla Secret Swings. Drive up to La Jolla and head to the hidden La Jolla Secret Swings, a local treasure tucked away in the cliffs. The exact location of the swings changes over time, but the search is half the fun. Once you find them, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean from your perch. Insider tip. The swings are located on private property, so be respectful of the area and leave no trace behind. Sunny Jim's Sea Cave Next, visit Sunny Jim's Sea Cave in La Jolla, one of the most unique attractions in San Diego. This sea cave can only be accessed through a hand-dug tunnel from the cave store. For 10 USD, you'll descend 145 steps into the cave, where you'll witness the ocean waves crashing against the rocky walls. Insider Tip Wear sturdy shoes and bring your camera. The view from inside the cave looking out over the ocean is picture perfect. Lunch at Puesto La Jolla For lunch, treat yourself to gourmet Mexican food at Puesto La Jolla. Try their signature tacos like the filet mignon with crispy melted cheese or the Baja fish taco. A meal including a drink will cost around 25 to 35 USD. Insider tip don't miss their guacamole made fresh with perfectly ripe avocados and served with a sprinkle of crunchy spiced pepitas. Afternoon, Birch Aquarium at Scripps. Spend your afternoon at the Birch Aquarium at Scripps, a hidden gem in La Jolla that's perfect for marine life enthusiasts. Admission is 24 USD and you'll get to see interactive exhibits featuring everything from seahorses to sharks. Check out the breathtaking view of the Pacific Ocean from their outdoor tide pool exhibit. Insider tip, make sure to attend a feeding demonstration to learn more about the fascinating sea creatures from expert aquarists. Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial Just a short drive away is Mount Soledad, home to one of the most unique and panoramic views of San Diego. The Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial is free to visit and honors U.S. veterans with plaques. From this vantage point, you can see all the way to Mexico on a clear day. Late afternoon, La Jolla Cove before the sun sets, make your way to La Jolla Cove, a breathtaking spot known for its emerald green waters and playful sea lions. Take a leisurely stroll along the cliffs, watch the sea lions sunbathing on the rocks, or rent a kayak for a different view of the cove. Insider tip. Bring snorkeling gear if you want to explore the underwater world. The cove is part of the La Jolla Underwater Park, a protected marine reserve teeming with marine life. Evening. Dinner at Herringbone La Jolla. Wrap up your day with dinner at Herringbone La Jolla, an upscale eatery housed in a building adorned with 100-year-old olive trees and nautical decor. Their menu features ocean-to-table dishes like their famous oysters, lobster mac and cheese, or wood-roasted whole fish. Dinner will cost 40 to 60 USD. Insider tip. Reserve a table in the courtyard to dine under the twinkling fairy lights for a truly magical experience. Day 4. Adventure and Outdoor Activities Breakfast at the Cottage La Jolla Begin your final day of adventure with breakfast at the Cottage La Jolla, a charming spot serving classic Californian breakfast dishes. Enjoy their fluffy lemon ricotta pancakes or a hearty breakfast burrito for around 15 to 20 USD. Morning, Torrey Pines State National Reserve 
Head to Torrey Pines State Natural Reserve, one of San Diego's most beautiful and rugged natural landscapes. Hike along trails like the Guy Fleming Trail or the Beach Trail, which offers stunning views of the cliffs and ocean below. Entry is $15 per vehicle, and the scenery will leave you in awe. Insider Tip Arrive early to beat the crowds and watch for dolphins playing in the waves as you hike along the cliffside trails. Paragliding at Torrey Pines Glider Port for an adrenaline rush, head to the Torrey Pines Glider Port. Take a tandem paragliding flight over the cliffs and the Pacific Ocean for around 175 USD. The views are absolutely breathtaking and the experience of soaring high above the coastline is unforgettable. Insider Tip Wear layers as it can get chilly up in the air and book your flight in advance for the best time slots. Lunch at Galaxy Taco after your morning adventures, fuel up at Galaxy Taco in La Jolla Shores. This vibrant spot serves up creative Baja-inspired tacos and fresh ceviche. Lunch will cost you around 15 to 25 USD. Try their crispy fish taco with a side of their house-made blue corn tortillas. Insider tip. Pair your meal with their house margarita made with freshly squeezed lime juice and tequila for a perfect midday treat. Afternoon, La Jolla Shores for kayaking. Spend your afternoon at La Jolla Shores, a popular spot for water activities. Rent a kayak and join a guided tour of the La Jolla Sea Caves and Ecological Reserve, where you'll see sea lions, leopard sharks, and even dolphins if you're lucky. A two-hour guided kayak tour costs around 60 USD per person. Stand up paddleboarding or surfing. If you still have energy left, try stand up paddleboarding, sup, or surf lessons at La Jolla Shores Beach. Rentals start at 20 USD per hour, and the calm waters make it a great spot for beginners. Experienced surfers can head straight to the waves for a thrilling ride. Insider tip Check the tide and wave conditions before heading out, and consider booking a lesson if you're new to the sport. Late afternoon, Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. End your day with a visit to Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. True to its name, this spot offers some of the best sunset views in all of San Diego. Stroll along the cliffs, watch the waves crash dramatically below, and find the perfect spot to witness the sun dip into the Pacific Ocean. Insider Tip Arrive an hour before sunset to secure a prime viewing spot and explore the hidden sea caves along the cliffs. Dinner at Bali High Restaurant for your final dinner in San Diego, head to Bali High Restaurant on Shelter Island. This Polynesian-themed eatery is known for its legendary Mai Tais and panoramic views of the San Diego skyline. Enjoy dishes like their miso marinated sea bass or the coconut shrimp with prices ranging from 30 to 50 USD. Insider Tip End your meal with their pineapple upside down cake for a sweet and memorable finish to your San Diego adventure. Thanks for joining me on this epic San Diego adventure. I hope you discovered some incredible spots and insider tips to make your trip unforgettable. If you loved exploring San Diego and want to keep the travel inspiration going, check out my video, How to Spend Two Days in Los Angeles. It's packed with insider tips, must visit landmarks, and hidden gems you won't want to miss. And don't forget to subscribe for more adventures and travel guides. Safe travels, and I'll see you in the next city.